What's up, fam? We're back with the fifth patch of the year. Let's dive right into it. Okay, we're gonna start off this patch note with champions that have minor changes. Jarvan gets a passive buff, and Severe gets a buff to her base armor. Senna's Q skill, Belveth's E, Evelyn's ult, and Nidalee's Cougar form Q have all been nerfed in their ratio or damage. Now let's get on to champions that have received notable buffs. First up, Darkin is getting a significant increase to his healing. He's gaining heal proportional to additional health as well as a heal buff to his ults. The cast speed of Kog'Maw's Q is now proportional to his attack speed. His E skill slow rate has also received some meaningful buffs. Rek'Sai gains a buff to her ults based damage and additional damage based on the enemy's lost health. Vagar gets a small buff to his Q, and his ultimate gets a 20 second cooldown buff early game. Vex receives a base damage and ratio buff to his passive. The biggest beneficiary of this patch is Wu Kong. He now gradually loses his stacks one by one. He can stack up to five stacks instead of 10. Maokai gets a nerf to his movement speed and W's cooldown, while his Q skill's bonus damage on monsters will increase. Brand's ult has an increased cooldown with a slight reduction in late game damage. Rest in peace, AD Twisted Fate. TF gets a massive nerf to his E skill's AD ratio. The movement speed increase in Vayne's passive and her Q skill's early cooldown gets nerfed. Zack's jellies will heal with lesser max health percent, but he gets compensated with a minor damage buff to his W. Mom! The hottest champ in the pro scene, Smolder, now deals additional damage to enemies in the center and has an additional AD ratio to its healing. Furthermore, his Q's true damage will now be scaled with additional AD, AP, and stacks. His E's number of projectiles has also changed to be stack proportional. Yorick's waifu now seems to be stronger than Yorick himself. His ghoul's bonus damage has been reduced, but his witch's armor and MR have increased significantly. Next, Seraphine goes through a major update. I am not gonna go through all of this. If y'all need to take a look, you can stop the video here for a second, get what you need to know. Finally, item changes. Uh, just to name a few, Nabori's recipe has changed from pickaxe to BF sword. Frozen heart gets nerfed to its price and armor. The resupport items got adjusted. Okay, that's all I got for you today. I will see you guys on the next patch note.